How are we doing? And welcome back to Kiyosin and Mark Taekwondo. Today we're working on our roundhouse kicks, doing a little machine gun roundhouse kick drill, some other types of drills here. The aim of these drills is to give you the technique you need to succeed with your roundhouse kicks. So as you've seen right now, um, look at this technique. That's all I'm doing. So step up slow kick and step up slow and kick. So we're doing sets of nine as you just saw from the text up there. We're working on this technique. So we're going high, medium, and low. Now what this is, is it's not working on speed or accuracy. You're working on like the mechanics, the technique that you're throwing. Because if you have a sloppy technique, you're not going to do very well. So only focus on that right now. Just worry about the speed and everything later. And look at this. So stance work. Make sure you're rechambering that leg. Make sure you got your hands up. You know, make sure you're moving, you're holding your balance. You don't want to be off balance for this. Now, just a disclaimer. This is for training, so this will get you great technique. If you're in the ring, you might want to do a, a different tempo here. See, I'm stepping back. There's a couple seconds in between things like that. I could kick a lot faster, but, you know, we're working on technique, so that's why you're going to kick this speed. So don't, uh, don't use this out of context. Now, also... As we're continuing through these drills, feel free to try them. The pad helps, but you can also do this with mitts. You can even do it in the air, too. The air is slightly harder, but if you have no equipment, you can do the air anywhere. So right now, this one is a slow headshot up and back. Now, what you're going to be watching right now is we're not focusing on the height. I mean, it is high, but we're focusing on technique. So look, my leg rechambers back, and then I pull it down. Usually that's a fluid motion, you know, go ch -ch -ch -ch. I'm only doing it like that just to accentuate it so, like, it helps you train. And then once you have all the motions down packed, you can do them fast, and that's how you train. So if you can't really hit head height and keep your technique, that means you have to lower it a little bit. So maybe body height or however high you can kick without losing technique because that's what we're working on right now. Maybe we can do some height kick stuff in a different video. If you'd like to see that. So maybe comment down below if you want to see that kind of stuff. Now typically a problem people have with roundhouse kicks. Is that they're not watching the trajectory of their foot. They have like. It becomes almost like a front kick. And it's not it's not horizontal anymore. Roundhouse kick is a horizontal kick. Because if it's not. Then you end up with a different technique. And it's kind of just going to. It's going to be like a bad front kick. So you need to really pay attention to that. But definitely. This is a great one. I love to do it. It really gets your kicks going. Now this pop, 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 machine gun kick. Same thing as the first drill, except it's all in one thing now. So you have to watch the rechamber, keep your balance, hold a tight position. Because that's how you're going to rechamber. Kick, kick, kick. Watching accuracy, keeping your stance. This is a great one to do too. If you can do this, honestly, I'm not going to lie, you have a pretty good kick. And you'd probably be ready for some of the, the more advanced things that I even have on this channel. Now, potentially, you could utilize a, t a technique similar to this in the ring, but you would definitely switch the tempo up a little bit. But anyway, thanks for training. Keep up the good work, and I'll see you next time. Also, don't forget to like, sub, and subscribe. Hit that bell icon so you get a notification when I put stuff up.